the artist for one of the promo items for the D&D Honor Among Thieves movie has come out and he's speaking out because Wizard of the Coast has erased him. That's right, just as you think D&D Honor Among Thieves is going to go the way of the dodo and just disappear, the movie seems to have a new controversy showing up just to drag us all back into it. Now, the movie's made $195 million, making about $45 million over its budget, but that doesn't, of course, include marketing. So where do they put them now? Well, there's some very unique promotional items that came out with the movie, and one of those promotional items is seeing an all-new controversy. You know, I really got to say, the popcorn bucket above me, that looks like something that a lot of fans of the movie would love. But of course, you don't have to see D&D to get that. I think you just got to go to the movie theater and buy the bucket. That, that in itself is pretty cool. But there was a poster that came out with the movie that was handed out as promotional material. Hasbro removes artist signature from the D&D movie poster. This is from Geek Native. Um, it's actually pretty telling uh, that they remove Jeff Easley's signature from the poster, and they didn't realize this. The artist didn't know this until he got the the item from Wizards of the Coast weeks after the movie came out. This didn't come out before the movie, usually, which which is what happens with uh, artist proofs and stuff like that for Magic the Gathering. They usually get timed very similarly at the around the same time. But this one in particular, they digitally erased the guy's signature from the poster. That I, how ridiculous is Hasbro at this point? You know. Maybe next time they'll just send the Pinkertons with the poster to the artist's house and say, hey, we here's your poster. We we removed you from it. Shh. You gotta be really quiet. It's a really big secret that you can't you can't expose us. You can't tell us that uh we we have to have your signature on your artwork. It's pretty ridiculous. They pay these artists uh about a thousand dollars a pop per commissioned artwork, and now they remove signatures. Is this where it is for, you know, they started by removing Magic the Gathering artists entirely from the Magic the Gathering repertoire of art artists that they would use, namely Therese Nielsen, which she did nothing wrong, uh, just had a Twitter following and people literally coming unglued following her around on Twitter, even though she, she, played by the rules and did everything proper, didn't actually dust up anything or said anything to do anything. It's just she happened to like a tweet that people didn't like. That, that you know, it, I, I'm sorry, that's that's not exactly uh, a reason to not not still use that artist. Um, it, it created a whole controversy within the Pro Tour. It, it, it's a whole big deal. If you guys want to see that, I'll link the uh, the story of that somewhere else. But the famous fantasy D&D artist Jeff Easley painted the promotional mini poster given out to early screenings at the Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves movie. Finally scored a copy of the giveaway print. They took my signature off the painting. That, that, that's where we're at today. So, yeah. Fi yeah, right here. Th this was posted on uh, his facebook page um finally scored a copy of the giveaway print they took my signature off the painting I, a lot of people are like that's pretty upsetting yeah it, it's yeah it yeah you can't condone elder abuse in any form that's pretty funny actually uh so a lot of people are saying that that's not right that shouldn't happen the honestly hasbro what are you doing who is in your art department that went ahead and removed signatures, removed part of the art and altering it? That's just unheard of. Why would you do that? A lot of people want to see the actual signature on it. You know, if you have this movie poster, now you go, now you sit there and go, okay, well, maybe I can get him to sign it in real life instead of his signature being in the artwork what is the purpose of removing the artwork or removing the signature from the actual artwork you know sometimes 
understandably, they will crop a picture down and the signature gets cropped out. That's a little bit different of a situation where they're, they're cropping it down. This is legitimately, instead of cropping it down, they remove the signature entirely digitally. It, why? Why would you do this? Likely done by Hasbro or E1, the production company that filmed the D&D movie, this change was unexpected, arguably needlessly altering the original artwork. A hundred percent. Like, you can see the blurring here. Uh, someone went in there with the two erase tool and blurred out the guy's name. Like, why would you do that? It, did, did they accidentally hit like an artificial intelligence saying sharpen this up a little bit or something and then they just disappeared? I suppose that could be possible. In this case, removing Jeff Easley's mark contrast with the signature policy of some Hasbro subsidiaries. Wizards of the Coast uh, Hasbro subsidiary that publishes the D&D RPG as well as Magic the Gathering card, card game does not remove artist signatures from the artwork that they source. In fact, Jeff Easley provided artwork in for the 2021 Magic the Gathering core set, Dungeons and Dragons, Adventures in the Forgotten Realm, as well as the card art over the years. His signature was left intact unless cropping was required. His artwork for the Den of the Bugbear D &D, uh, dungeon module version, Magic the Gathering MTG card clearly shows the signature. MTG further and goes further in celebrating the artist by listing their name on the bottom of each card. Like when it comes to Magic the Gathering, if you have a card, right? It the artist's name is down at the bottom here. It's it's that's what it is. That's where they put it. Like they they sit there and put it out. At other times, the erasure might might have flown under the radar if it was not for Hasbro's recent history of troubling public incidents like sending the Pinkertons to a fan's house. The OGL crisis, Bank of America's scrutiny over MTG prices, and other heavy-handed decisions needlessly erasing Jeff's signature is yet another incident to add to Hasbro's list of ill advised decisions thus far in 2023 honestly i just don't get it why you would censor this out taking away the artist's name out of the poster and pretty much altering the artwork because his signature is part of that artwork that's part of the artwork that they would have commissioned why you do that i don't know but you know what just Let's let's put another check mark on the board for Asbro to sit there and go, geez, I wonder why we're doing things wrong. <sighs> anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hey, let me know down below how how many more things is it going to take for the market to wake up on Hasbro. <laughs>